G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're looking at the upgraded Tasmanian Tiger Tactical Pouch 4 and it is known as the 4.1. So that's the original 4 and that's new 4.1. The first thing you'll notice is that's the original four, the front of it. We've got the hook and loop across the top, a small tag here where we can connect a carabiner to, and we've got some molly webbing across the bottom. And the 4.1 has got our way with that. And all we've got is two small forms of molly webbing, very tiny, about a quarter of an inch which we can loop we've got a skin light angle a carabiner through at three points on either side looks nice, looks clean just less useful this with that, like I said, we can connect a carabiner to the loop here let's get it the right way around, is that it? yep, connect a carabiner to the loop here we could put our badges on here if we wanted to and we could connect a smaller molly like the emergency pouch for your compass and things like that where that's been the last on this one so that's the first thing on the front let's do this up make it easier next thing we'll look at is the back we've drawn from a three molly webbing point connecting with two molly straps two four molly webbing one two three four with two rows and two laser cut plastic rubber tough it is uh, molly webbing the original one was a pestered which was nice and strong and the new one now no press stud we just got this on it where we tuck it underneath but cut underneath and that's it holding there's the differences there still got a two-way zipper on both that's the original four and this is the 4.1 put the zippers on you feel this one's a little bit stiffer because this one has been used a fair bit but quality is really nice and they are YKK zippers we've got the dust guard on this one and this one had the flaps overlapping and again with the dust guard on the inside on your zip so that basically protected your zip from being uh, letting any dust onto it which is going to prevent the dust going through and the water going through so they've just gone to the single zip now I don't mind that this weight wise I, I don't really care weight wise it's probably very similar uh, I haven't weighed them I haven't looked I go for the actual use of them not the weight of them, as long as they're not crazy heavy. So the zips, now they are in, uh, improved this in a one way, but not for the same reason. Now the original zip, I'll show you first, came to the here, this level. It never went all the way, it only came about halfway down, which made it ideal for, like I said, I've got my snake bite kit in this one, just to show you. Get it all turned inside out, it's going to be a lot easier. Yeah, the snake bike kit fitted in there real nice. We had your bungee with two sections. Now, this could have been for three, which would have made it perfect for my compression bandages from the snake bike kit, but they only had it as two gaps, so we couldn't put the bandages behind there. Because it's sat funny, so I just lent them on top and they fit nice across. 
nothing on this side. And now I go to the new one. The zip on this one comes all the way down to the bottom. So effectively the pouch opens up completely flat like an oyster. Again, they've got the same uh, bungee webbing going across. Again, they've made it so it's only just two points. That would be nice, like I've said with the other one, to have it as three. So you can, better organization, it fit my uh, compression bandages for the snake bite kit. It has got a nice backing here, which just seems to be more protective. Got a loop at the top so you can attach your keys, a carabiner. Now the difference on the other side is they have a mesh pocket. Um, no zip, just lift the top up to get to the mesh and put your gear in and close. What do I think? Yeah, no, I don't know. Pros and cons. I like it for one particular thing. Let's stop it. Like the cat's clawing. Let's move my git stuff out of the way. And I dislike it for other reasons. Like I said, that bungee. If they made that three, I think this would be almost perfect. Do you mind? Go on, off you go, mate. Go on. Hey, off you go, little buddy. Another pro and a con. Let's get these back to normal. Now, we can see here the molly straps are space for three, and this one is space for four on the molly webbing. Now, putting this on your hip belt, like I've done on this pack here, it's giving it more of a curve which is reducing the amount of space inside now I don't know how much that's going to affect it because this is still fairly new fairly stiff it needs to be used a bit more to soften up this one like I said has been used same roughly the same measurements but this one looks a lot deeper now it's softened and it's been able to stretch if you want to say or well, just come a lot more pliable so we'll give this one time. Put the bandages in here and show you. We're going to one, two, three. Like I said, as you can see, if it had that elastic ribbon in there, as three, that'd fit great. And then I can have the triangular bandage down in that section. But I've just got to have it sat there like that. Nothing su supporting or securing. The compression bandages. So. Again, that's new. Material stiff. I think it's a 500D, I can't remember. I, I'll put it up on the screen here if I'm wrong. But as you can see, still stiff, which is good and bad, but not so good when it comes to having it pliable around your waist and uh, fitting gear in there. But over time, like I said with that one, it softened up and things fit in a lot better. Yeah, it's a lot stiffer. Then going to this one, the pros of getting the, the uh, tactile pouch for, again is one, that doesn't open all the way, it only goes halfway. So when the bandages go in there, they are being held in place without doing the zips up. And as you can see, this one does up a lot easier, a lot more pliable, a lot more space. And I think that's basically down to the material. But with the actual Molly straps, over three, when it goes on your hip belt, you're not getting so much curve on it, like we did on this. So you can see the difference there. They're a lot wider apart, so as it bends around, it's gonna go tighter. 
these two are closer so that won't curve as far now it all depends on what uh, hip belt you put it on or what you're using it on going on the flat panel it's going to be great but using it on this pack here they're going to be used as my med kits my snake bite and my basic so i'll grab that pack and i'll show you what they look like so i've put one of each on Yeah, here's the new one, the 4.1, and this is the Raid Mark III from Tasmanian Tiger. It fits really nice on there, but I've only run it through the top row and one like this end. So my comp um, compression strap here, I'll still get to use it. And this is the old version, or the 4. Again, are fitted at the same, so it goes through the two molly webbings on the hip belt all the way over the top one at the bottom, but miss that one at the back, so I can still use the compression. And that's worked great, it just seems to fit better than the four strap. You're going to be losing a lot of space down the middle here as it curves, so a lot of space in the middle of the pack here as it curves around but this doesn't really curve too far but far enough that you lose a little bit but hopefully as it softens up it'll do the same as this one become more pliable and i can fit things in there easier i don't want to force things into it just fit in there comfortable now this seems to look nicer fits nicer as a aesthetic uh, but to use it, I think I'm going to have one of each. I'm going to have this one on this side for the basic med kit and the four for my snake bite kit. So they're just sitting out of the way and easy access to them walking. So, all in all, Both pouches work well, uh, both design well in their own way, they're the same size, so this one looks a little bit bigger at the moment but the actual zip is the same size all the way around and as this softens up that probably just pull in a little bit to match this one. Personal preference or you can do the same as I've done, one of each. So the 4.1 for the basic uh, med kit because that'll lay flatter and I've got that mesh pocket in there for the smaller stuff and the bigger stuff I'll make work down these two so if that does drop open I'm not going to lose all my gear out of here but for this one for the snake bike kit the compression bandages the old four for me is better because as you can see it takes a fair bit where it was in that that drops down and that falls out so there's compression bandages in there nice and safe and now I'll set that up under my hip belt of this pack as my basic first aid kit so hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you haven't already subscribed please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos coming up and select all and if you are a video subscriber again i thank you very much so please hit the like button